Do we at Nomu, Nomu, you know, when you walk through Pick and Pay and all the other retailers, most of the time is when they stock these wonderful products. So we're going to be chatting to Paul Rapali, who is the co-director of Nomu this morning. Nomu is, uh, is a product of, a, of perhaps a more optimistic period in our country's history, around December 2000. Tracy uh, wanted a way out of catering, and um, I was reviewing career opportunities. She started this business on a fly, mostly because I was kind of pushing her to give it a shot. Um, she introduced about 20 different items that she was making in, uh, in a small kitchen in a place in Aranyazicht. Uh, in, our, in our home at the time. You started out with what exactly? We were focused primarily on spices. The real change with the business came after about six or seven years when we introduced the sugar-free hot chocolate, which later became known as the skinny hot chocolate. Yes. What's the brand all about? The okay. brand carries a lot of authenticity, a lot of sincerity, but we don't do market research extensively at all. We kind of go about it the other way around. We try and make sure that we're proud of it and that we can eat a lot of it, and then we take that to trade. I like that approach. But that's been it, really. It's been about a taste sensation. It's been about Nomu, the brand, the people, and all the rest of it. So great having you with us. Part of our hashtag Cape Talk in the boardroom.